Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So it's the last day, day five of Chili Week. So, um, it is a request from me and from Tom, and it's something that we really, really, really love. So, tonight we're going to make um, Wendy's Taco Salad. <laughs> we love it. So I guess two Wendy's things in a row. So I'm going to bring you down here. I've got, this is all I've got left of my chili. It doesn't quite fill all that up, but I'm warming that up. And I'm going to take you along with doing the prep because otherwise this would be such a fast video, it wouldn't even be worth it. So I'm going to core my lettuce. And for those of you that didn't know, if you um, push, slam down on the core, it actually will come out for you. That's one thing I learned by cooking in a restaurant. And it's been a valuable lesson ever since. <laughs> My lettuce is all nice and cleaned up. And I'm going to take any of that brown stuff off of there. And you guys are going to think I'm weird. But I don't like the center of lettuce. I don't. I think it's bitter and ucky. And I don't like it. So I like my pieces very nice and thin. I don't want to be eating, do you know what I mean, like big old chunks of lettuce when I'm eating my taco salad. So I'm going to cut them into nice bite-sized chunks. Tom should be home soon. Kind of bumming. I found out my, they're going to have the neighbor get my grandson on the bus. And you know they got a new daycare. So I might not have to take my grandkids at all anymore. Ugh. I know that it was coming, but at the same time, you know, it's like a double-edged sword because I'm really going to miss seeing them both every morning. Ugh. You guys, it's like, ugh. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put ours on a plate. I'll give nice, Tom a nice hefty one. I do have a bag of lettuce over here too, so I'm going to put that right there for now. And then I'm going to do mine. So Tom will have to tell you the stories from his work today. We took all those donuts in, and he'll have to tell you <laughs> what happened. It was good. It was very good. And I'm going to pack his lunch, too, for tomorrow. He's working Saturday. They want him to work Sunday, too, and he told him no. He has stuff to do. put some of this already chopped up lettuce and then I got a bowl over here what I do with Tom's is I put the lettuce and the tomatoes in there and the cheese but then I do his chili separately and his chips separately so he doesn't have a big old nasty wet salad so now I'm going to turn my chili off. So now I'm going to sprinkle that with cheese. Ooh, I'm just knocking everything over today, I guess. Now you know I like lots of cheese, so <laughs> we'll put some cheese on his lunch one. What I'll do is I'll send a paper plate that he can just dump everything out and put it on the paper plate. And it'll spread out a little bit better. You always got to come up with something to take care of lunches. You know what I mean? All right. So there goes the left. Cheese. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up some tomatoes. 
I got my little rattle slicer. I know they do bigger chunks, but I don't want bigger chunks in mine. And that's the benefit of cooking it at home. You can make it what you want it to be. And I don't want big chunks. I love this tomato knife. Ugh. You know, I haven't found any of the knives yet that I don't like, which is a good thing. I'm going to spread that on his salad. Might have to do another one because he loves a lot of tomatoes. That's something else you don't get a whole lot of when you go into the store. To Wendy's, you get what they put on there and Depends on the person, you know. <laughs> I love these salads. They are so delicious. Back before Missy had her stroke, she had never had one. And I took her to Wendy's one day and get, got her a salad, and boy, did she love that. She thought it was delicious. All right, let's chop up this last little bit here. The chin's all sudden itchy. All right. The one good thing, you know, you guys, honestly, about cooking stuff like this at home for yourselves, A, it's so much cheaper. Because, <laughs> you know, if you don't want to make your own chili... You can always buy a can of chili at the dollar store. You know what I mean? You don't have to have, you know, homemade chili or anything like that. You can do you. All right. Now, we're going to get some tortilla shells or tortilla chips. And we're going to crush those on I think I should have got Tom the bigger plate. <laughs> That's it'll work. Then, like I say, his, I'll crunch them up and put them in a baggie so that it doesn't get soggy. Alrighty. So. I am waiting for him to walk through the door before I put the chili on there. So I will be back just as soon as he gets home. All right, so Tom is just about here. So we're going to do up his salad first. And I'm going to put that beautiful chili all over the top of it. Hard to believe a double batch of chili. We had to add a few things here and there but fed us for an entire week. And that's kind of what I was hoping to show you is that, you know, we can do up a batch of chili or something like that. And, you know, you can turn your, um, I don't know, beef stew or anything like that. You can turn into several other meals as well. So... You know, just because you have a can of soup or a can of chili doesn't mean that you can't feed yourself for a week or a few days. That's all the chili we got left. I already put his in the refrigerator for tomorrow. So I'm going to take this to the table and he'll be here any second and then we'll finish up the video. Hi, Tom. Hi. Are you sneaking bites again? No, I wouldn't do that. I think you would. So there's his taco salad. There's what's left of the chili. And then look what I did. Caramel apple. It's the rest of the caramel. All right, so give it a try on camera now. <laughs> okay. What do you think? I think it's yummy. As good as Wendy's? Better than Wendy's. Why? Hmm. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, because my chili's better. Okay. No, because your chili's better. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I told them you're going to have a story about the donuts today. So I brought the donuts in this morning. And I told two or three people when I set them down that I brought donuts in for everybody to eat. There was 18 donuts in there. 14. Well, that's right. We have a couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, 14 donuts. We probably on, on Friday, because it's not a big day for everybody, because we all worked our overtime. Or, the Friday's an overtime day, so nobody, all, all, everybody don't go in there. And so I go and I ask a few people if they tried the donuts yet. Eric said it was the best damn donut he ever had in his life. Of course, Ivy, she said... You can say it. Go ahead. That it was better than sex, <laughs> which I can't believe, but... <laughs> we went that route, and it was like... So, break time come. I looked in the box, and there was one left. And Ivy's friend come on over and put her hand in there, grabbed it, and took it off. Took away with her. I didn't even get to see a single donut. <laughs> Good thing I had some for breakfast this morning. Courtney didn't get one either, did she? Nope. She didn't get one either. And what did somebody say that they melted in your mouth? That's what what Sheldon said. Yeah. No, Eric said said that that uh, the box is empty. You need to fill it back up. <laughs> that he did say that. <laughs> Hey, well, I don't know. I'd have to talk to the boss about that. <laughs> he says, I says, do you mean Josh? He says, no, no, I mean my, my wife. <laughs> he just started laughing. So that was pretty good then, huh? Yes, it was. All righty. It was yummy, 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 yummy. So all the donuts are gone, so maybe once in a while we'll make a different kind of donut and ship it in. Makes you like a hero for the day. Oh, I was a hero for the day. <laughs> All right, you guys. He's going to call back our son from Tennessee. So you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing. And bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. <laughs>